Good evening. I'm Carl Quintanilla in for Brian tonight. In Egypt, the battle over that country's political future is turning more violent. Reports of at least 30 dead, and it is spilling further into the streets. The U.S. State Department late today condemned the clashes between supporters of ousted President Mohamed Morsi and his opponents. The crowds throwing stones, firing guns, in short, all-out mayhem on a key bridge crossing the Nile River. Our team in Cairo has been witness to the chaos all night, watching it unfold. And we begin with NBC's Eamon Mohadeen. Eamon, good evening. Carl, we watched it all unfold this evening from right here. Supporters of former President Mohamed Morsi marching in the streets, demanding the ousted president is reinstated before marching on to the state television building, where they came face to face with Morsi's opponents, where the two sides fought the battle for hours. And the type of fighting many people here fear is pushing Egypt to the brink. It began with two sides taunting each other just yards apart on Cairo's most important bridge. They broke up pavement and sidewalks and used the stones to attack each other. The anti-Morsi crowd using scrap metals as shields, forcing their way down the ramp. Within minutes, it became a full-scale assault. We were on the streets as the injured were being rushed from the front lines. From our balcony, we saw a Muslim Brotherhood supporter firing his gun, then reloading to shoot again. Both sides used fireworks as makeshift weapons. For hours, there was no security in sight, no police, no army, as the fighting raged on, sometimes hand-to-hand. Anti-Morsi demonstrators set fire to a car on the bridge, then charged down the ramp, pushing back the Muslim Brotherhood supporters. But they couldn't hold their ground. Some were grabbed and beaten. Ambulances struggled to get to the wounded. Some were rescued. Others appeared lifeless. Two hours in, Morsi supporters charged up the ramp and onto the bridge, taking control, but not for long. The army, which forced Morsi out just Wednesday, finally rolled across the bridge, opening fire to control the fighting. Within minutes, anti-Morsi demonstrators jumped on top of the tanks, waving flags, chanting, the people in the army are one. Morsi supporters were driven back for now. Ayman Mohideen, NBC News, Cairo.